everybody. A bouquet of spinach. This is for you. Would you be interested in getting a bouquet of spinach or a bouquet of flowers from me? I would choose spinach. Why? We can eat it as a side dish. So today, I'm going to make spinach side dish. It's called shigumchi namul. This is a really popular everyday side dish. I need something kind of green stuff. First thing I come up in my mind is a spinach side dish, shigumchi namul, because it's so easy and tasty. Let's start. Now I am boiling some water. And then let's handle this spinach. Sometimes these roots are red and very like thick. That's really tasty. In that case, don't throw away and you can use this. This is red for example, right? So, and then you can like this. But these days I cannot find the kind of red roots. So you can cut like a stem, cut this in split and like this. Right? And then, it's, if this, I wish this were red, <laughs> but I couldn't find that kind of spinach. I cleaned my spinach. And still is uh, some dirt inside. We gotta blanch and then later wash. This is eight ounce, eight ounce spinach. Water is boiling, let's blanch. Blanch without to lead, uh, around 30 seconds to one minute. Sometimes you see the spinach is thicker and then one minute. Spinach is like a thin, like this, just 30 seconds. Turn off. So this way, Cold water, we wash this and remove the old dust inside this little mud. So now, what we have to do is squeeze out the water. It's in my palm. <laughs> Size is really got smaller. My grandmother, two grandmothers, they always use this type of kitchen knife, larger than this. I got this from Korea when I traveled to Korea, and once I found this, I wanted to have this, so I brought this. Put it in a bowl. Traditional knife is this part is flat on the handle. Garlic, we always used to use this way and green onion. Soy sauce, one and a half teaspoon. And sesame oil, also same amount, one teaspoon or one and a half teaspoon. Crush this, guys. Smells really good. Okay, let's add and mix. How easy it is. Oh my, sesame oil, sesame seeds. It smells really, really awesome. This is a shilgochu. If you want, you can add this for color. Let me taste. Mm. Garlicky and so tender and soft. Just uh, everything's soft 
but a little crispy. You can eat it with rice or you can eat it with noodles. My next video is I'm going to add one more in a recipe and then make some nice things. Today we made shigumchi namul. Enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye.